Okay, so this is um, just a quick tutorial on how to make use of an XY plot because someone asked about it and I'll just do a quick thing and show you how to do it. You'll need um, the Efficiency Nodes Pack for this. It has an XY plot node here. And the easiest way to figure out what each of these things wants is you can just drag it out and the only one it's going to have trouble with is the script one. And you can add node, go to efficiency nodes, sampling, load a sampler. Make sure the sampler state is set to script. That way it uses information passed from here instead of information from in here. It'll also make sure that it batches stuff when it sends output from here. We'll do a vey thing. We'll also use a efficiency loader for simplicity's sake here. Okay, sampler. No, we need a loader. Efficient loader. So the efficiency loader is the efficiency nodes themselves are pretty good because they've got outputs on the opposite side. So uh, they can be quite useful if uh, you don't want noodles everywhere. And we need it so that we have access to all the things. And the dependencies plug into the XY plot. So it goes efficient loader, XY plot, sampler efficient, vady code, and set sampler state to script. Now you can set your prompting and stuff in here, uh, and you can input your XY plot stuff in here. Um, so we will do a steps one, and we will do a CFG one, just for as an example, and we're going to set them to use two of each. So three and seven, why not? And 10 and 20. Um, I'm just going to leave all these things. You can mess with this stuff in your own time, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure you can literally send, um, where are we, efficiency, there's a whole bunch of stuff you can send into this, you can even input um, the actual um, scripting, I think, if that's your thing, um, yeah, you can tell it what certain things you want to send into this. Um, is there a script thing? There should be, you should be able to literally send a script into this somehow. Just one second. Not that one, maybe it's this one. So I think... I'm not sure if you can send this somewhere or what what you can do with it really. Convert nodes to input. I haven't seen one of input into anything. I'm unclear on what this node is for. <laughs> um, yeah, you'd think it would be able to plug into something. Like into scripts maybe. Uh, maybe, hang on. Script, here we go. You know, that probably accepts a text input. Try a text, text box. Text multi-line, will you accept a string? No, you won't. Yeah, I don't know. If you could get it to plug in an actual text or a string into here, you might be able to literally just write this kind of stuff in a text box and send it here. Anyway, so this should, in theory, output a grid of images with the settings applied here. Um, and it will have, say, two, two left and then two down. It should produce a tiled image. Essentially, that's what it should do. And it's used mainly when you're doing studies of the effects of um, prompting or sampling or 
uh, seeds or whatever, whatever else floats your boat, Laura's, all that kind of stuff. Um, a detective frog. So this one will output individual images for each of them, and this one will output the the entire kind of grid image, and you can right click save. Um, I'm sure there's a way of getting it to just output this image as well somewhere. Maybe output only and then put a save image here or something. We'll just try uh, output only and see what it does with this next one. Seems seems weird that you have to right click save it every time. If you had to do a whole bunch of them, it would be a bit annoying. So I'm assuming there's a way of getting this out. There we go. So set output only on the preview image and then bring the image out here and it will give you the grid. So there you go. That's how to set up XY plot for Comfy UI. Um, hopefully it was it will be useful to you. It has almost no use to me, but um, I'm sure there's plenty of people who want to know how to get this working. Just make sure you set this sample state to script or it's going to fail. Anyway, um, thank you for watching.